Hi, this is Corey Rainbow, and I'm re-recording my intro. Some of it was cut off due to uh, technical glitches, but um, my my dog Biscuit and I uh, were interviewing Emma Riker about her watercolor portrait that she is offered um, as part of the Viking auction, and you, anybody can submit a, a a picture of their house or some sort of building, and Emma will paint it. So, um, if you want to bid on this or any of our other auctions, send an email to Scandinavian Heritage Society at gmail.com. Or if you have our newsletter, you can uh, give Corey, uh, Joan, or Karen a call to bid. Um, and if you have any questions, give us a, give us a jingle. And uh, without further ado, here's Emma. Thank you to all who have participated so far. And thanks to everyone who's uh, taking a look at our new website and um, and our Facebook page. Thanks again. Um, so without further ado, uh, would you like us how um, there's a, a secret. You're related to somebody who's in the <laughs> Scandinavian Heritage Society. That's right. And and it's no secret. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm a Karen, Karen Reichert's daughter. <laughs> She's a, she writes our newsletter and, and. Well, there's a whole bunch of things. Absolutely. Um, and uh, so it's very generous of you to to donate this painting. Um, would you like to tell us about what that entails, like what's included, and sure. um, and also like how did you how did you get started painting? Yeah. Yeah, so um, what I'm donating to the auction is uh, a house portrait. Um, I do watercolor paintings. Um, I've been doing uh, paintings uh, pretty regularly now for, for, I would say for the last 20 years, I'm really focusing on, on watercolor. Um, and so what's included with this donation um, is a portrait of your home or a home uh, that, that you would like a portrait of. And uh, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be that house itself. It could also be maybe a special spot in the garden or um, perhaps it's a childhood home that you have. It doesn't have to be um, your current home. Your, <clears throat> your work is just simply uh, exquisite. Um, so, <clears throat> so beautiful. Um, and you have a website too, I think that people I can do. look at. Yeah, absolutely. So the website is lafayettepapery.com um, and it's also available, um, the, the web address is online um, within the auction details. So you can definitely click on, see it there. And then within the website, you'll see um, general paintings that I've done. And then there's also a, a house portrait uh, category where you can look and see some examples. And um, for the size of the painting or, and the, the format, I really, it really kind of depends on, on the home itself. Um, I have a couple examples I can show you right now. Um, so for my house, I have a small little bungalow house. And so for my particular home, a, a small square um, size worked, worked really well for, for my house. Um, and this is a small one, this is three by three. Um, but certainly, uh, you know, depending on kind of the, the, the layout of your home, the front of the house, you know, whatever works best. Um, I have another example here. Um, this one is six by nine. And because this was um, at a three quarter angle um, and kind of the, the front facade of the house, it lended itself better to a more horizontal format. And what I would ask for, um, if you're lucky enough to, to win this bid, um, is uh, some examples and some, some photos of the front of your home. Um, and I can kind of look through those photos and see the different angles. Um, it's also important to shoot the photo at a nice time of day where there's some nice cast shadows, maybe on the grass or, um, you know, some uh, fall foliage or springtime flowers, you know, something like that. And that makes for a, a nice painting. Excellent. <clears throat> so yeah, somebody is going to be very lucky. <laughs> I think. Um, how did that, uh, have you always painted? Um, 
Yeah. Like since you were a kid, did you get yes. into it in college or? Definitely, definitely. When definitely as a kid, I painted and I, you know, I did all the art classes in school. Um, actually my, my grandmother, my, my dad's mother, um, she also painted. And so I'd sit at the kitchen table with her and, and we would uh, paint together and I did art classes with her. And, and so she, she was a big influence. Oh, that is so sweet. Yeah, yeah. And then I painted in, I painted in college um, as well once in a while. And um, it wasn't until I started working. Um, I'm, I'm an art director uh, currently for a pharmaceutical ad agency. And so it was about 10 years after working and being on the computer constantly. And, and but I really missed uh, painting and missed the, the texture of the paper and paint brushes and getting your hands dirty. And, and so I started taking um, art lessons and I took watercolor lessons and, you know, really refined my skills. Um, so that was, that was, um, I would say 2002, I started taking uh, classes and then, you know, uh, it's been, I would say the last five years, I've really been focused on kind of making my, my hobby a, a little side business as well. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's really, really cool. Really exciting. <clears throat> um, here's another fun fact tri of trivia <laughs> that you and I were both in the uh, Lucia Sancta Lucia Fest when That's we were right. kids. In 1990 something. <laughs> yes, we were we won't say it the years, <laughs> <clears throat> um, but yes, that's right. That, that's right. I know for for myself, it was it's um, keeping my Scandinavian heritage alive and learning more about it has been um, a lifelong goal. Um, during the pandemic, I started learning Swedish oh, uh, on Duolingo. Um, do you, are you, do you feel real connected to your Scandinavian heritage? Yeah, you can snuck it in. Okay. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And, and you'll see in the background here, I can try to point to it behind me. I have a painting of, uh, of birch trees and um, I've, I've been to Norway many times and um, I've done some, some landscape and some boat paintings um, of, of Norway from my photos. And uh, so there's, there's absolutely a, a real connection there. And, and I mean, the landscape throughout Scandinavia is just, just tremendous and, and amazing. So, so if anyone knows, you know, if you have your family's little hitte that you know that you wanna, you know, their little vacation home that you wanna a uh, house portrait of, so you can have here in the US, you know, I'd be happy to go there and take a photo myself, but <laughs> But if Ooh, you have even, a photo, you can send it to even me. Better. <laughs> I have not been lucky enough to go yet. Hopefully, you will. Hopefully someday. <clears throat> but um, and it's been such a blessing and joy to get to know. Um, my my focus has mostly been on Sweden, Sweden, but to learn more about Norway and all of the other Scandinavian countries. And <clears throat> I am. Um, I was also taking uh, Margaret's recent, our recent meeting where Margaret talked about her, her heritage and how it connected her with her, her work and her wanting to help people. And um, it's just so, so ingrained in, 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 in our lives. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. And I think it's that love of home. You know, it's that, it's that, that Higge style that makes, it makes you feel really cozy. And, 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 you know, so I try to bring that into, into the house portraits. They're just stunning. And yeah, like I said, somebody is going to be very, very lucky mm -hmm. uh, to, to get this. <clears throat> um, is there anything else you would like to add about your painting or you or Scandinavian, your heritage, um, before we, before we end? Well, you know, I, I grew up with, with having, uh, art in the home. Um, we had a lot of paintings, um, that my, my grandmother, um, had from Norway that, um, that were hanging in our home here in, in Spencerport. 
Um, and so, you know, I think it's important to, to have um, artwork in, in your home, you know, something that is, that is very personal um, and, uh, you know, that's, that's hand done, I think is, is, is something that's, that's really important to, to have. And that's something that can be passed on. Um, you know, it, it, it gets passed through the generations. And I, and I think, you know, what we're doing here with, with um, the Scandinavian society is again, you know, part of, of uh, passing on those, those traditions and heritage and, and um, you know, our, our love of where we came from. Absolutely. Well, Biscuit and I are going to mm -hmm. say thank you again for sharing some of your uh, background and what the auction entails and, um, and just sharing who you are. And we really appreciate it. My, and, pleasure. My pleasure. And now uh, we'll, we'll sign off Zoom because Zoom fatigue is real. And I'm sure that it's been a long day for you. So I appreciate you spending some of your time with, with us. My pleasure. And choose and talk, everyone. <laughs>